Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for coming to class today. Um, today, I'm going to be presenting this company called Grupo Bimbo. And I'm going to start with um, a short description of the company. So Grupo Bimbo is one of the leading baking companies in the world. It carries the production, marketing, and distribution of more than 10,000 products, including packaged bread, um, salted snacks, confectionery, and tortillas. Bimbo sells its products and under various um, recognized brands such as Oro Wheat, Mr. Birds, Thomas, and Sara Lee here in the States. The company has presence in North America, Mexico, and Asia, Latin America, and Europe. The company was founded in 1945 and is headquartered in Mexico City. Moving into my recommendation. Over the last deca decade, Bimbo has evolved from being a strong local player in Mexico to be the leading company, bakery company in the world um, when looking at their volumes and their sales. Grupo Bimbo operates 150 different plants in 19 countries across Asia, Europe, and the Americas. The company has 51,000 um, distribution routes and 2.2 million points of sales. It has the largest distribution network here in, um, in the Americas, which give um, Bimbo a strong competitive advantage when looking at its peers. In addition to the strong distribution network, um, the company produces more than 10,000 products under, under 100 globally recognized brands, which give them a broad, um, a broad product and brand portfolio. Um, this helps not only to reduce the market, to reduce the risk of market volatility, but it also helps the company to cater to a diverse consumer, diverse consumer needs. Also, Bimbo is a strong market leader in the regions in which operates. In fact, in Mexico, it has 25% market share in packaged foods and bakery products, and in the U.S., it has 16% market share. In, um, in packaged bakery products. Um, because of all these reasons, it is recommended that Bimbo is added to the AIM International portfolio at a target price of $3.21, which represents an upside potential of 25%. The company also offers a dividend yield of 0.51%. Moving into my investment thesis, my first driver is strategic management, a, a strategic um, merger and acquisitions. <laughs> During the past 10 years, Grupo Vimo has been able to successfully integrate more than 30 acquisitions. The company looks for, um, for firms that, allow, that lead to geographical expansion, extension of a product portfolio that are accretive to um, growth and which um, have a strong brand recognition in the market in which they operate. In 2011, Bimbo acquire Sara Lee Corporation, um, which is a market leader for packaged bakery goods in the United States. By 2013, the company um, provided $200 million in total synergies. And importantly, um, it also provided important um, cross-selling opportunities given the, the limited product and geographic overlap. Since this is a very highly, uh, highly fragmented industry, BIMO is going to keep taking advantage of all these acquisitions opportunities uh, around the world to keep growing its company. Moving into my second driver, which is geographical expansion. The company has made an intense effort to increase its presence in North America. In 2011, the, the um, the segment categorized as the United States only represented 31% of total revenues, and today it represents 45% of revenues. Um, but, the, but Bimbo is not only focusing in the United States, but it also wants to um, increase its exposure to more developed countries because it sees that they can um, gain better, um, not better revenues, but a more um, stable revenue stream and cash flow stream. Therefore, they want to have more exposure to developed countries. In fact, this year they acquired Canada Bread, which is, um, 
which is one of the la largest bakery companies in Canada. This company enjoys of a 31% market share in Canada, and it also offers exposure to the UK market, uh, as well as in the United States. This acquisition is supposed to be accredited to APS from year one. Um, moving into my third driver, which is market margin improvement. Operating margins in the US had been hurt in 2012 due to the Sarah Lee acquisition that I just talked about because this company operates below average corporate margins and the comp Sarah Lee also needed Bimbo's management to lean out some of its operations are real and realize some cost synergies. Over the next few years and beyond, Bimbo has the opportunity to take US EBITDA margins from 6% to 11% as it gains scale and it focuses on, focus on making progress on its multi-year restructuring plan. It also is implementing a restructuring plan in Brazil, which consists in the improvement of its operation and its distribution infrastructure. Altogether, um, 2014 operating margins uh, should experience at least an expansion of 30 basis points and over the long run operating margins are, are expected to reach 13 percent. Moving into my valuation, um, in order to find the intrinsic value for Bimbo, I realized a five-year, I conducted a five-year DCF model using a long-term growth rate of 3 percent and um, a WAC of 11.27 percent resulted in evaluation of $3 per share. A sensitivity analysis was also conducted and it provided me a price range between $2.45 and $5. I also conducted relative valuations using um, PE, price to sales, and EV to EVDA, and weighting all these valuations 55% for the DCF and 15% for the relative valuation. I obtain a price target of $3.21, which represents a potential upside of 25%. Moving into my risk, um, the first risk is government um, regulation, because by being a producer and marketer of food, the company is subject to vari various regulations coming from the FDA or many other um, and regulatory agencies around the world. In fact, in 2013, on the last quarter, Bimbo um, had to increase its prices in the Mexican market because a new tax was passed through the Senate, which, in, which is a 5% tax on junk snacks. And this is something that management discussed in the last um, earnings call and they address the potential impact of this regulation, but they are also implementing different um, things to help this not hurt the company. And my second risk is um, competition. This is a highly fragmented industry and it faces intense, comp um, intense competition coming to from other big players. And Group of Imbo needs to distinguish its product offers by setting a clear and unique value proposition. And my last topic that I'm going to just touch on is management. And I really like the management. Daniel Servitje is the CEO of Group of Imbo, and he's, he joined the group in 1978. He's the son of the founder of Bimbo, and he and his family own 61% of the shares outstanding and he studied in Mexico, his undergrad, but he did an MBA in Stanford. And with that, I'm gonna open it up for any questions.